In Port Mosby, a ceremonial parade and memorial service was held at Remembrance Park, Ella Beach. Present with Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, parliamentarians, members of the diplomatic corps and city residents. A one-minute silence was accorded to the fallen heroes and laying operates. For loyalty, courage and devotion to duty, we shall remember them without memory. There is nothing and without sacrifice, there is no honor. These were the words from Governor General Grand Chief Sir Michael Ogio while honoring our fallen heroes. It's a day to remember and honor the sacrifice of those who fell in battle and those who stood in defense for our land and its people. Let us recall the sacrifice of the first members of the Papua Infantry Battalion and their allies from Australia, New Zealand and the United States. We also recall those of our people that were used as carriers and helpers by foreign forces that brought their war and its ravages to our land. These fallen heroes must always be remembered and be thanked for their willing sacrifice as the tragedy and loss was brought by war. Sir Michael said peace built upon the heavy sacrifice was honored and citizens must continue to develop. It is a vibrant country with a promising future. Let us teach our children. Let us sing it in our songs. Let us work to keep their memory alive. PNG has maintained its friendship with those countries that fought in a land. The spirit of forgiveness and friendship that united Papua New Guinea with those countries. Message of peace and forgiveness must be spoken in honor of those who did battle. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill also paid respects to the brave men and women, veterans and those who did not return. From Kokoda to the autonomous region of Bougainville, Milan Bay to the Sipi coast and many more places in between, Remains of our brave men and women lay buried on those battlefields. The Prime Minister challenged disciplined services personnel to reflect on those we commemorate today and live up to the high standards they set. The Prime Minister said we must ensure to pass knowledge of our war history to our children so that future generations will continue to pay their respect teaching about Remembrance Day must continue in our schools. Remembrance Day ceremonies was also held in some areas around the country. In Medang, as always, the dawn service was at Coast Watches Memorial Lighthouse. Thank you, Mr. Edlos. I think the sacrifice we have to move with them all. Some of our family in Albany, so we have got my dialogue at the moment. So, we have believed that it's the remembrance of my dad and thinking about generation and thinking that the freedom must have now and all time, all time, you know, they have no ground for this. I sympathize with my uncle, who was also in the PIR army when he died during the campaign on Kokoda Trail. In our family, we have not forgotten him. We will forever honor the memories, lest we forget. Fabian Hakalitz, National MTV News.